Hey guys, Dev here. Um, so the servers is still down, so I decided to jump on the beta while it's still up and make a little stockades boosting video for you guys. So the build that I'm running here um, picks up uh, the stun resistance talent, also one point into reckoning um, and argent defender. I personally don't need this if your gear is not as good. Um, great talent. Into the ret tree, um, we're going to pick up pursuit of justice for running speed and uh, improve ret aura. Um, and then you just need these two points somewhere to get down to improve red aura. So I'm just going to reset the dungeon because I did just do a run and we'll head inside. Okay, so now we're inside stockades. Um, let's talk a little bit about our movement through stocks. So I always like to be running uh, side on strafing to keep um, to keep the ability to block mobs. Um, I do a lot of jumping inside stocks and it is quite hard to learn, um, especially because you're working inside close quarters. Depending on your gear as well, getting caught um, by the pack, uh, it's going to make you take a lot of damage. So we're just going to do a run together here. I'm going to talk through it. So straight into strafing. The first trick to learn is if you put your con stand just before the doors, that's going to pick up everything at the end of that room. Um, the alternative to that is you do have to go in and melee um, the mob, which takes just slightly longer. Uh, obviously, I'm not using any consumables here, um, but running Zanza, if you're not running the rep build and you don't want to respec, if you're all doing this as holy, you can basically do stocks as just about any build you want. This is just better. Um, dispel the disease off you uh, as soon as possible. So that's going to make you take uh, extra, extra damage, which obviously is not what you want to happen. And from this point forward is basically when I just start jumping. I have found that with the BC talents, the extra running speed that you get on Pursuit of Justice, you can actually outpace the pack uh, on the straights, which is really cool because it just stops the damage completely. Um, and obviously there's a lot of stuns in stocks, so having that 10% uh, stun resistance has made them just a lot less frustrating to do because the the second wing that we go and pull um, has, a lot of, uh, has a lot of mobs that love to stun. Uh, the lightning effect that you go off, that you see going off there is my uh, Wrath of Scenarius. So that's going to be a, an extra 132 spell power, I believe. Um, and you see my life stealing gear. It's just keeping me basically at full health. Um, if you're a dwarf and you get a lot of the bleeds or a lot of the diseases on you, you can just stone form them off. Um, what we're looking for here is a, a nice clean one pull. Um, so just picking everything up. You need to tell your boosties as well if you are doing the one pull, just to stay at the entrance. Um, there's a there's a boss in here that if you have two people in range of it, he's going to stun. Um, and obviously, like that's not what we want to see. Now you see with the pursuit of justice here, I'm outranging the pack, so I can just run straight. We've got four more rooms to do here and we're going to run through the pack we're going to try and keep our, our front to them we're going to cleanse that disease off eating a stun here back out of it and the good thing about running the improved red aura especially if you don't have that much gear uh, it's a very static and reliable um, damage source and because the mobs in here do run when they get low um, that's uh, that's going to be really nice. Uh, reducing the damage you take because they like they'll wander off and then they'll come back to you. Um, they'll rejoin you. Um, depending on your gear as well, if you aren't staying at full health, keep seal of light up. Obviously, I can be a lot more relaxed with that because I'm geared to the teeth. Um, the way the life steal works, you want to stack as much spell power as you can get. Don't try and uh, compensate with defensive items. It, they just they're not great. If you've got a skull flame and a Demon Forged. The end of the pull, get yourself into a corner and at this point start dropping max rank consers. So you can see things just melting um, and at the same time my health is pretty much still full. Um, so I'll just have a little drink before I go into the next run. And it's like a three and a half minute run. Uh, what you can do as well, move towards the door here when everything runs out. Um, and drop a cons and it'll make the, the path to you a little bit shorter, it just saves a few seconds. So it's a sub minute, sub four minute run pretty easily. Um, you can call your boosties in here at this point to loot and you can head into the next one, um, eat and drink while you wait for them to loot and zone. 
So that's how I do stocks. Focus on your movement, guys. Um, I'll go over my gear now for anyone that wants to see. So this is what I boost stocks in. Uh, using the Peacekeeper Gauntlets here. Uh, I don't know why, actually. I normally use Judgment. I think I was just playing with them because uh, they've they've been changed to have, I think, maybe more damage than Judgment. Um, Belt of the Grand Crusader from Nex. Uh, judgment Leg Plates with the ZG Enchant. Uh, judgment boots with minus speed increase on them. I actually don't need that with this build. I could use something else, but my judgment boots have had that on from classic. Um, Wrath of Scenarius, which is the ring from the um, Earth Strike grind out in Silithus. Band of Servitude or whatever um, other MP, uh, any other damage and healing ring you have. I have Tia with the strength. Um, this Librum would actually be better served by the mana one that I've recently picked up on classic. The 20 negative mana. Skull Flame with a Thorium Shield Spike. Mage Blade, which is my best spell power weapon because I do have Thunder Fury, but I'm sure you guys probably got something better than that. Judgment Bindings. Uh, Demon Forge Breast Breastplate, enchanted with the Absorption Enchant, is amazing. Uh, Cape of Trinity with Armor Enchant. Judgment um, Shoulders. I've been using these to heal Saf, actually. Um, I would recommend the 18 damage enchant on these. I have the Dark Moon Neck for my damage and healing neck, and Judgment Crown with the ZG enchant. So that covers that, guys. Um, ZG boost, uh, sorry, stocks boosting is really easy, and um, you can literally do it in just about any gear. The your ability to do a one pull depends on having the life steal effects, um, and also your ability to keep your um, back off the mobs. So that's the first thing you should be practicing when you do these runs. Best of luck boosting in the pre patch, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.